and so you mentioned 81 you mentioned that and, and thank you also for sharing about you know the constitution of your family setup uh, both immediate and, and and that 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 extended um, when you look back at your childhood what what stands out and then also where did you go to school you know but what stands out when you th- think back about growing up you know what are those uh, memorable sticky moments yeah. that, that that you recall i just see love i see love mm, mm, and great discipline mm. so my mother was a, was a disciplinarian mm-hmm. oh my god ah, mm, mm. i can feel it even as i speak mm. maybe <laughs> <laughs> my uh, mother was a disciplinarian and the still apple is. Does not fall for. Uh, do you want us to have a therapy <laughs> session? Oh, shall we? Shall we? Shall we take a moment? Thank you. <laughs> so she was a disciplinarian. Yeah. But now I understand mm. why. Mm. I mean, just from her background, mm. and I always say, allow me to just bookmark that and say, mm. sometimes as we grow up, we are very quick to shoot a parenting yeah. style or something mm. but extend grace mm. they were not fortunate enough to have parenting coaches and, parenting and stuff classes. like that parenting classes you know mm. Mm. so there were children raised in trauma mm. getting marriage and raising children mm. uh post trauma as they deal with their own trauma mm. so but i'm grateful mm. I, I i think my family was about love mm was about being super choleric mm. uh, all of us are very super choleric mm. and but we embrace that with a lot of humor mm. as in even in the most hurtful of times we will be laughing and make light of the situation mm. um i remember <laughs> my father teaching us how to cycle mm-hmm. and that was a big deal mm. Because I realized, oh, that's a privilege. Mm. Uh, I mean, mm. uh, either the other kids would have shown you how to mm. cycle and stuff. Mm. We learned how to be. We're not the kids that would leave the house and go play with other kids. Mm. Those were very rare moments. Mm. And my brother, the second born Charles, mm. was the adventurous one. Mm. Me, I was like, I want peace. I want peace. For the longest time, I wanted peace. Mm. So as I was doing house chores, he would be out riding the bike, mm. getting into other places mm. and any and then when mother comes home mm. it's all of us who are being beaten i'm like but yeah mm. i'm like um, assistant parent I what do you mean house. i was in the house <laughs> um yeah my father on the other hand was also very stern mm. like i think one thing and anyone who knows or has seen my stories mm. is that i love my father mm. i i really do mm. um i learned a lot about respect for mm. people mm ethics about work mm. uh, from him mm. so it started by there from Kitambo mm. a, a long time ago mm. just how he mm. carried himself mm-hmm. and that he brought into his parenting mm. Mm. Um, I remember he was also very sometimes very hands off mm. uh, with with like um, as, so if my mother is around she knows mm. stuff is sorted I remember mm. the very first time I cooked to Gali in mm. the house mm. And somehow mm. my mother was in the room. Mm. My father happened to pass mm. by, mm. and I was at that point for just turning the ugali to mm. put it on my hand, mm. so that I can put it back in the heat. Mm. And my father casually goes like, calls my mother who's in the bedroom. Eh, hey, mama is there? Um, sana, this girl will burn herself with this ugali. <laughs> you know, when I look at it, I laugh because you're here, you know. But I guess maybe it was gender roles. I don't know yeah, why. Yeah. And he left me to finish making the ugali. Um, I think it was the way for you to learn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was for me. The way, yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah. okay. So I remember that. I remember the voice yeah. and even the joke around that. So um, I learned the the tough things. Uh, mm. I mean he he really used to have mm. a get togethers for his boys mm. uh, at the time you know there were young men in their 30s and into their 40s mm. they would be ambuzi all the time a mm. barbecue mm. and so I learned how to slaughter a goat mm. like I can easily slaughter a goat than mm. a chicken mm. <laughs> because mm. my father taught me mm. and uh, yeah so there were very uh, memorable places mm. When I was in school, mm. I was an average student, whatever that means mm. in English. Mm. Um, but he never once would scold me in front of the teachers. Mm. As a matter of fact, mm. he would take my side mm. and always say that I'm proud of you. Mm. You know, mm. um, then go and now tell me so why? What is happening in maths? Mm. What's happening in English, mm. Kiswahili? You know, mm. and uh, whenever there was an improvement there was even a reward for it mm. if i went down kidogo mm. you know that would also come out so i learned 
uh, from my family I learned reward mm. love mm. unconditional love mm. it doesn't matter, matter. and mm. I think I've had you share some of that with uh, with our children mm. that even if you've done the worst mistake mm. just come and say without any fear mm. it is sorted so mm. that that's the approach so mm. yeah many pockets mm. like I, as I talk about it mm. I, I can see mm. um, I went to State House Nursery mm-hmm. School. Mm-hmm. It's so amazing that the structure as I left it in 1986 oh, wow. is still mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I did State House Primary up mm-hmm. to class four. Mm-hmm. And then moved to All Saints Cathedral. Mm-hmm. Again, I had to pick it up from class mm-hmm. four because then it was a pioneer class. Mm-hmm. Wonderful classmates. Mm-hmm. My classmates are doing big things and we still communicate mm. right now if i can just name drop melvin alusa mm. are doing great things the film film world mm. there is uh brian afande mm. his mother was our english uh, our teacher of english yeah a teacher of english mm. and he's doing great stuff around mm. uh communication 3d stuff mm. um the susan uh, Susan Kiyama doing a lot of mm. wonderful stuff about uh, HR consultancy. Mm. I mean, mm. Cynthia Mumbo mm. uh, does a lot of sports mm. stuff mm. and has brought even legends mm. into NBA and NBA people. Mm. I mean, yeah, mm. so I've been privileged, I say privileged, not lucky mm. to be at a place where there are a lot of poor, poor runners. runners. Yeah. Mm. So shout out to the class of, was it 94? Yeah, that class that you did class eight with. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And 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 you recall some of your primary school moments. What, yeah. What what are what, what stands out for you when you? I when think you look the community. Back? Yeah. Because we're only like twenty three in oh, yeah, our that's, class. That's not a lot. Of yeah, it was, and in, then it was not a lot. It, yeah, yeah, it wasn't a lot then. Yeah. I mean, we went to some of the schools where there were fif- in a stream, in a class. Yeah. There were 50 people, 50 people, 50. Well, so we didn't even have streams as so class eight. Was, the whole of class eight is just 23. 23 people. Oh. As a matter of fact, I think. Yeah. Bu- <laughs> but yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> privilege. Pri- it's not about being lucky. Oh, it's <laughs> <a privilege>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but you see, no, I it's think it's, it's every parent's aspiration that it's your children get yeah. better and again mm. you see it's another church a religious setting yes so that also molded a lot of yeah. us yeah. in the yeah. right ways yeah. Yeah. um primary school i think i remember community mm. uh uh i think that that's the best mm. memory because mm. uh, you're just a few so we you, are few. you really will know each other yeah. if you're only 23 you will want to almost literally create a community yeah that's, that's it that's, that's it the essence. so i remember i think after class eight mm-hmm. uh, my desk mate then mm-hmm. I, I mean i'd known her for those four years mm-hmm. uh, apparently passed away because oh. of anemia mm-hmm. sickle cell mm-hmm. and that really shook me mm-hmm. because i mean we had worked with lorraine for a very long time mm-hmm. i still remember her her beautiful face and i think that was like my my what up, up the first uh, peer death, death I had experienced yeah, yeah. and then there's no one to talk about right, about it you right. know so just getting to know more about sickle cell mm-hmm. and stuff like that so mm-hmm. yeah I fondly remember Lorraine many years later mm-hmm. and uh, yeah but all since primary school mm-hmm. did a good work mm-hmm. they did a good work mm-hmm. And we hope that one day we can mm. go back and give back to the society. Just fast track a little. Mm. Do you co- reconstitute? Are you together like in some form? You are a small group. Yeah, so we are in a WhatsApp group. Right. Uh, once or twice we've, we've met. Yeah. And it's always humor and yeah. jokes and yeah. rekindling uh, young love. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the early, early, early childhood crushes. Yeah. And... yeah. I mean, you've met Melvin when he <laughs> meets me. Total disregard <laughs> that I'm a parent. Mm. <laughs> you know? Yeah. 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 So it, that, that is beautiful. I like right. that we can still laugh yes, together. Yes. Uh, make mistakes even as you're growing yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. many years later, 20 plus yeah. years later. And, and even when we've had very tough times within ourselves, yes. people have shown up, either yeah. in terms of true, money true. or just physical uh, yeah. showing up. Yeah. So yeah. I treasure that group. That's, that's really good. That's really then good. I went to high school. Yeah.